My name is Dave Miko. I am the director of Farm Boy Productions. We are located in Sandy Bay, Rosewell, Clarendon. We are standing here in, in um, one of our first castor oil fields. Um, this, this was actually not cultivated by us, it grew wild and you know, this is what inspired us to start producing castor oil. You know? So we recently started to produce the oil and we are also planting as well on another location. We used to cut down these trees, you know, because we just thought they were, you know, just some pesky plants, you know. And we actually wanted to plant some banana here, you know. So another family member of mine, you know, Mr. Duffus, was telling me that, you know, these things are very expensive, you know. And he said, he was, he said that I should pick them and put them down because they can be sold, you know. So that kind of sparked my interest. So I did a little research on Google, you know, and I found that this oil is widely used, you know, used in the skincare industry the hair care industry and surprisingly it is used in the automotive industry because it is also used to make engine oil you know by a lot of German companies the market for this product is very very you know there's a high demand for it because not a lot of young people will sit down and actually pick out these tiny beans you know because to get a, get a small bat like this you have to have like a little over a pound of seeds and you know these tiny beans a pound of this is, is almost there's thousands of seeds, you know, to get a pound, just one bottle of this. So that's why this commodity is so expensive. This method is the organic method. So we, we don't boil or parch the seeds. We use an extractor that actually grinds the oil. You know, so you get a better quality oil. It's a lighter color. It's not the black Jamaican castor oil, but it's the organic. You know, so it would be just like you have coconut oil, you have the virgin oil, you know. So it's a better grade oil. The ones you can see right here, these are the native ones, you know, the small breed. But what we have done is we have found some bigger seeds that, you know, actually yield more oil and they are easier to, to reap. So the process we go through is we plant the seeds in grow bags, get the plant, you know, to a level that we, where we're comfortable that it can withstand the elements, the sun and all of that, drought, you know, because where we plant it doesn't have water supply, you know, so we get the, the plant strong enough to withstand these elements. So these plants take at least three months to mature and start to bear. Once you see they start having these dry pods, you know that the whole thing is ready to reap, you know. It's not even a quarter acre, you know. But the density of these trees, it produces enough castor oil that one acre would possibly produce per month. You know, because by right, the castor trees should be planted 10 feet apart. You know, but because these just grew wild, you know, whenever they pop, they just drop, and whenever rain falls, they grow. So we then um, put them on a, like a zinc, you know, and then we put them over a mesh and put them in the sun, and they will just naturally open by themselves. If you're going to wait until everything is, is dry, this is what will happen, because everything doesn't dry at the same time. So they're going to dry and pop in the sun, you know, so you're going to end up with something just like this, you know. So you have to, you have to pick it from... You know, cause even this, this one, for example, this is about to be, you know, we catch this one just in time. Cause this was, was just about to start to pop. You know, you give this another day, everything would pop off and fly all over the place and become something like this. Once we get to separate them out of the pods and everything, just the, just the beer seeds, we have a machine that we put the seeds into. And this machine is called a cold press, you know. So it can be used to do various oils, you know. It can be used for cannabis seeds, it can be used for even you know, coconut oil. So basically we preheat the machine for about 10 minutes and we load the hopper with the castor seeds. Just by a press of a button, you know, the machine starts to grind and it just squeezes out all the oil. So we cut out the process of boiling and, you know, parching and beating with the mortar, which you'd get the black castor oil. In the stores now, a bottle like this, you know, you're not going to get this for less than $2,500, you know for one bottle and this is a four ounce bottle you know i've seen other brands selling it for even three thousand five a lot of people from the diaspora have been contacting us just within the week that we have posted this on our instagram page you know saying how they can get it you know overseas and all of that we are planning to take this thing very big you know jamaican castor oil is already a name out there in terms of castor oil so what we plan to do is put in our mark as farm boy you know, supplying a lot of castor oil because there's actually a shortage for it.